Ebola was a devastating disease. The outbreak was unprecedented. Everyone felt like we had to do what we can do. Standing on the side and looking was not acceptable. I lived in Sierra Leone. I am from Sierra Leone. And I felt like I had to do my own little part to contribute to fighting Ebola. I mean, it was a huge task. There was no precedent for it. We had no examples to draw from. This was the first time ever that we had to change behaviors at that level for that period of time. No one wanted to die. A lot of times when we're going into a situation, we're going into a new country, we don't always really understand the culture. It is always very important for us to partner with the communities that we work with, be able to get the kind of information, the kind of support, the kind of buy-in and ownership that would be required for our programs to succeed. We also had to work with the traditional healers especially. There are many ways that we're sharing what we've learned from Ebola. The questions really started. From the CDC perspective, you have the CDC Museum here, where a lot of people are coming and learning about different experiences. A lot of these are open access information that we're sharing with other people. You know, a lot of the materials and resources that we developed during the Ebola response were all available on CDC's website so that other people can learn from this experience. You need to identify some of the mistakes that were made. We can avoid these mistakes in the future if we learn from the past. I was one person working alongside many, 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 many other people. The biggest takeaway that I got from the Ebola response is the importance of working as a team and doing your own part as if it means the world to you.